Hi friends, it's Gloria from Golden Bucket Farm. I'm the Jersey Lady One here on YouTube. And I just was working on um, this little project here. Let me pull this over here. Just put some Mod Podge on this Pringles can that I'm going to use to um, store my chenille stems and my little I don't know glitter sticks or whatever you call those little metal things anyway that's drying and I had a little bit more Mod Podge so on my last one of my last hauls from Dollar Tree I had gotten these squares what are there two four six eight colors of tissue squares. I think they said there were 1,500 squares in this. And uh, I saw Roxy Fur, <clears throat> excuse me, I think it was who was using some of these. Um, anyway, yeah, I thought I'll use up the rest of my, of my uh, Mod Podge here and put some of these down on some deli wraps. So let's see. These come, they don't come all apart when you uh, when you open up the package, they're in a little wrap. So that's kind of nice. I'll open this up and see. Yeah, there. There they are. Let's do some green ones. This must be my yellow and green rotation or something lately. I really liked that. I don't want to snip the... There we go. I don't want to snip the little squares themselves. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Let's put down some of this. All right, oh, let me push this up here. How's that? No? Let's see here if I have to change you around a little bit here. Let's do that. Move this a little bit here for you. Okay. Let's see what happens when we take some of these. Like I was saying, you really don't want the cat to jump up or, or a fan to come on. Well, my furnace fan is on, but it's not like blowing. Is that one? I guess. Okay. I don't want to necessarily do checkerboard. Yeah. So our water softener kind of went, I don't know what, not kaput, but not doing its job quite as well. So the plumber was here this morning and kind of perused the situation. And I'm kind of waiting on him to come back now and reset it. And I don't know. It's not really that old. It's only about 10 years old. I would think it should last longer than that, but maybe not. Maybe we're just in an area where it's harder on water softeners or something. Anyway, you have any experience with that? I could, I could tell something was going goofy because our water is always real clear. And when I would put it in our dog, horse and dog, you know, the big black one, when I would put water in his bowl, stainless steel bowl, 
used to be always clear, but I could see, um, you know, that the, the water wasn't as clear. And then it started kind of making You know, just like yellow stain in the sink, in the bathroom, sinking like that. So, I guess when you have equipment, you got to take care of it. And if it's acting up, well, let's see, what shall we put in here? Should we put some, some orange with it? Let's do that. See how this works. I really like the paper that um, some of the different gals made. Oh, like with newspaper wrapping paper at Christmas time, they painted on it and made it all so pretty. Yeah, oh, there we go. Let's add some of this here. So anyway, we don't we don't get a newspaper regularly because I don't know my husband goes into the library a lot in town and reads the local paper there and he gets other ones online you know you can get the online versions of stuff so anyway yeah that orange is nice that's a nice combination with it ah don't fall in the please all right, well, this will make a nice background. Not too hard to do this. I'll just do as much as I have. Extra in my little cottage cheese container here. I was kind of always setting back containers for that I thought would be useful jars or bottles or things and had a kind of a little collection on the on the kitchen cupboard and finally I thought, oh geez, that doesn't look too good. Guess I better find some other place for this, so went out to the storeroom in the barn and looked around and yeah we have some tubs you know those rubbermaid deals what do i need here i need an orange down in this corner so now i have that yeah i have a nice size one under my work table which is it's a pretty good size table here so it's back far enough that it's not it's under the table but not where my feet will kick on it so yay now when i have something i just sling it in there and when i get an idea of a project i just reach down into my i don't know what you call that trash tub i guess Trashed treasure here. Okay. I was talking to my son. He doesn't live, well, we have two, but they don't live by us. He was the one who was saying he had seen a good a good price to go to Iceland, and he thought we have we have um, Viking ancestors, and uh, he thought maybe he would go to fly to Reykjavik for a weekend sometime. And I thought, boy, that sounds like a fun project. I mean, I'm not going, but. I'm always ready, though. You never know when something will come along. I hope you have your passports. Always have those up to date and at the ready. 
just never know. Hopefully it'll be for something fun, you know, but then again, times could turn and you would have to, you would need to go somewhere in a hurry. Always want to have those documents or your papers in order. Okay. I think I'm about run out here. So, yeah, these are really nice little papers. I've got, whoops, <laughs> I'm to do that. I've got another project now, now that I've been working on this. Makes me think of something I used to do with my school kids, and I don't know that I've seen anybody do it here. Um, I'll have to look around and see. That would be kind of a fun project with these little squares. You can imagine you got 20 kids, 20 some kids, <laughs> little ones, you know, first, second graders, all these little squares, and somebody has to get up and walks past their desk, and yeah, they all go flying. Those are, I miss my teaching days. Enjoyed my many years of that. All right. Boy, this is the this is the brush that keeps on giving. There's more in here than I thought. Stay down, you little corner. Oh, maybe there wasn't enough underneath there. That's probably got to be sure I do that. Mm -hmm. I saw somebody doing this. Oh, gosh. Was that Crystal Dragonfly? Or was it Crafting Vicky? Who did, did this... Um, Oh, she she made wrapping paper. I think I'll have to look and see who that was. Made wrapping paper. Um, tore the tore. She tore the pieces up and then she put them right down on her on her um, nonstick craft mat and uh, let them dry and then just took like her. Yeah, oh, a little art knife or something, you know, and sort of peeled it back after it was all covered. And I thought, boy, that was brave. Not sure why she did it that way, but it turned out nice. Ah, gets sticky here. There we go. All right. Well, this is this is turning out to be a nice project, and I will I'll work on this again. I'll show you whatever happens with it. When we get done, so all right. Let you know what comes of this. Have you done this ever? I ordered two kinds of deli wrap from the from Amazon, and. Uh, yeah, one's kind of thicker, I guess you'd say, or, yeah. And one's more more like tissue paper. This is the thicker one. 
it has kind of a, sh a shinier side, I guess, or a slicker side, and then a more tissue paper side. Um, <laughs> maybe not that one. So I've enjoyed working with it. You get a whole bunch. You know, I don't know how many are in there in those. Let me see. It's behind me on a bottom shelf, and I can't see how many, but you get an awful lot of an awful lot. So you can do a lot of projects. I hope this is in the yeah in the view. Finally, I've got my camera figured out so I can watch it while I video it. And I haven't I haven't had a lot of experience with processed videos, but I got braver watching y'all. Hi friends, I'm back. Um, I finished that project. I was talking about making a process video and then, I don't know, I ran out of memory or something. I hadn't taken the other videos off my camera. So anyway, but yeah, here, this is, this is what has um, come of that deli paper that I was that I was working on and um, put the tissue paper from little tissue paper squares from Dollar Tree and the yeah the gloss mod podge and it has come out I mean it's just it's wonderful you can't feel a bit where those where those tissue paper pieces were put on. I don't know exactly what I'm going to make from it, um, but it's a lovely, it's a lovely white paper. I mean, I could wrap something in it or cover a box or um, use it on the cover of a, of a little journal or make it the base for a, a journal. Oh, I could make a couple journal pages out of this and now, I assume that if I want to stamp on this and have it stay, I'm going to need stays on or something like that. Maybe you could tell me, because um, I, all I have is um, black memento ink and then I have um, Adirondack pitch black Ranger, what does it say? A dye-based ink. Hmm. Doesn't really... I don't know. What, uh, if that'll, you know, if it'll stay on the Mod Podge or not. So, somebody has an idea for me what I should use if I wanted to do some stamping on here, let me know. And otherwise, I hope you will try this and uh, give it a go. Because, boy, what an easy way to make some nice, some nice papers. Okay, take care and see you soon. Ta-ta for now.